Look at the vision right now. This is gold. Can we do a, do a selfie real quick? This is this is big. What's going on, everybody? Ooh. Welcome to a very, very, very special episode of Fun Bros Food. We are joined today in Shanghai, China by the Hype Talk crew. Yeah. As you can tell right now, we are in a very prototypical scene in Shanghai. We're in Shujiahui. It's a major commercial district. You know when you guys are traveling overseas, there is a bunch of amazing local foods, but one spot that will never do you wrong mm. is McDonald's. McDonald's right here, man. McDonald's overseas are delicious. And different. So we are gonna be checking out all the unique items at the Shanghai McDonald's, AKA My, My Dalo. Dalo. Let's go. All right, man, we're here at the self-ordering station. My look at the drinks. Yeah, 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 all right. They make this look like a uh, trophy right here. Here's the options that come with it. Guys, there's chicken wings, spicy wings, chicken nuggets, obviously large french fries. You can get corn, you can get a wow. veggie cup. Chris cut fries. The, 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 the fact that they got chicken wings instead of chicken nuggets, I'm really excited. Okay, I'm gonna throw a little curveball. Say the corn too. The corn. Yeah. yeah. The corn. You know that's the okay. kind of coconut oh water. Gosh. Coconut wow. drink with jelly. The grilled chicken sandwich. Grilled chicken sandwich. Grilled. Oh my goodness yeah, gracious. Yup 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 yup. Got to come. Anything chicken. Anything chicken. Get it. They got bubble tea, man. They got yeah, bubble man. tea. Oh, Hold on. What this the, is it. What the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> that hey, look lit. That looked like the American joints. Aren't you guys, Yo. round one has arrived. Crazy. Right off the bat. Look at the packaging. Yo, they it looks so official, man. The cow's Yo, face on here, man. I'm on a very strict keto diet right now. What? Before the phone goes through. Nah, I'm gonna nah. break it, I'm gonna break it, you know what I mean? With, Let me show you guys the cheese sauce real quick. With a little bit of cheese, cheese in the middle. Oh, huh? yeah. oh okay. That ain't mustard, oh, right? That ain't mustard, that's cheese. Uh, cheese. Uh, cheese. So what we have here is a bacon Angus. Yo, 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 then yo. we have a nacho cheese Angus. That Angus is Bro, I'm telling you, the cheese sauce, the cheese sauce too. The cheese sauce is what makes this burger what it is, right? Here. I'm not gonna lie, I got no cheese, bro. I'll say this, I'll say the little panda colored sesame seeds. Yeah. It makes a difference. Yo, honestly, that makes it so much more interesting just right off the bat, looking at yo. the bun. I need Overall, to get very solid burger. I like the smokiness of the bacon. It tastes a little bit more like a smoked ham. Would you guys agree though, not fire? I didn't like it. It wasn't fire. I didn't like it. The cheese was fire. Oh, you? Yeah. I'm a believer. Because with the cheese sauce, it makes it more of a different sandwich. I know corn is just corn, but I think you're gonna like this. Still. Nice crunch to it. You know, you don't gotta spend too much time with the corn. We got it. We got it. Oh, I, I agree with you. Right? So right here, man, I'm not gonna lie. This was kind of like a, uh, you know, my re personal request. <laughs> it's like Yo. brioche. It looks a little like brioche what bun. The... Yo. Do you think, you guys, do you sausage agree with me? Burger, Are those just the sausages from the breakfast pot? For sure. Yeah. <laughs> Someone had to think of this and make it happen. You know what I mean? I'll People tell you, do I'll this. Of, I'll tell you. Probably. I think about this all the time. No, <laughs> let me give you my. Is this considered a breakfast item? Because that's what it looks like. What's the verdict? Out of five, what's the verdict? Two. Oh, oh, yeah. Yo, it's, I'm giving that a 3.5. Damn. That's, that's good. Awesome. I like that. That's no. dry. As I prefer the German sausage one over the Angus beef. Yes. Yes, what? I'm with you. Let's say this is a four out of five. Yes, that's what I'm saying. The mustard really it's different. different. It's different. Bring this yeah, it it does. It does. It does. I gotta agree with Richie, man. I give that 2.5 two. out of five. Oh, Nelson, you do the most 626. Two, six. You gotta get the boba. <laughs> the boba is really good here. It's very soft and tender. Not tender, but like it's very chewy mm. and uh, spongy. Okay, so well, this drink sir? right here has purple boba, has whipped cream, coconut, and then coconut water. Wow, these are regular uh, boba. These are popping boba with a right. cream inside. It's popping. It's popping. That's cream. It's cream. This is on Wait the a minute. Look at that texture. Look at that texture. That's Ooh. a real nice filet like that you put, get right there. It's like they put Popeyes and KFC on there, bro. Oh, yes. that's good. Spicy chicken filet. Spicy Guys, chicken filet. If there is one sandwich you need to get, at the Chinese McDonald's, yes. it is this yeah, right here. Yeah, yeah. All in, guys. Hey, look, at the, uh, look at the vision right now. This is gold. Can we do it? This is big. Mmm. Oh, the crunch? Mm -hmm. you know, I'm usually not a dark meat type of guy, but... This is how a chicken sandwich should be done all the time. I'm with the taste, I'm with the texture, I'm with the juicy. So I like the dark meat, man. This better not be on the value menu. 
This is a premium tasting sandwich Gone. right here. Five out of five, five out of five. I'll say five out of five. Five, five out of five. Out of five. This, this is the best fast food chicken sandwich in the world, bar none. That's the heavy statement. <laughs> we have a controversial pick next. Yeah. And Ooh. because we got delivery and people were mad. People were angry in the squad. Okay. This is the double Sichuan McChicken. There's a couple like disrespectful uh, sandwiches. That's a disrespect of the double. If you got the premium chicken, why not just use the premium chicken? Why do you gotta make these little processed filet ones instead? You know what's kind of dope about these though? Don't these look like an enlarged chicken, chicken nugget? nugget? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At the end of the day, the flavors aren't bad, but the chicken, the quality of the chicken. The quality of the chicken and the breading of the chicken is what makes this just unsatisfying. I gotta say, the sauce is the MVP of that. Yeah, that's not the chicken. Saving the sandwich is the, the sauce. Flavor, I don't, two? That's a two. That's a two out of five. Two out of five. Please. I gotta tell you this: the sauce to me is a five out of five, but that chicken is like a one, so it averages to what, like two? two. Yeah, two. So I agree with you. Five. Three. It's a one out of five. This is just added. I know. There's like layers to the chicken that are like stale. I was gonna say it tastes like plastic, but yeah, I don't know if that's too bad. We got. Some grilled chicken sandwiches here. Yeah. I'm really excited about Johnny, this one. Man. Yeah. Okay, so right off the bat, they use a different type of bread that looks like a little bit more of a hoagie style. Definitely dark meat. Oh, it's skin on it too. No, there's skin wow. on it. Wow. Right off the bat, I would make a statement. This is the healthy choice right here. Really? It tastes really light. Almost tastes more like a braised chicken than a grilled chicken to me. Uh, no, yeah. this is an Asian marinade. This, yeah, I think no, there's a, there's some like there's like a little spice. Spice? Yeah. No, there's five spice in there Star for sure. Oh, what are you guys giving it? Now I give it two. Two point five. Three out of five. I'm saying 3.5 out of five. Out of five. Yeah. I would definitely wow. get it again. It's, it's, it is very juicy. Yes. It is not dry. It's not dry. That's why you get the chicken thigh. Yeah. All right, man. So we've been uh, holding this for about 30 minutes. <laughs> it has not looked like that. I, know, I right? mean, how, what the? <laughs> That's a this big thing. Really right like now. gourmet. Gourmet. Very like, gourmet. Very special. You know. Very similar to the states. Yeah. You are an ice cream cone kind of sweet. I think the ice cream is the same worldwide, baby, because this yep. is exactly at home. Okay. I know this one hits home for Nell and me. We, we love our iced lemon tea. No, this is mad refreshing. That's Dude, really crazy fresh, that refreshing. they put, It's wild to me that they put fresh mangoes in here. No, and that's uh, passion, passion fruit. fruit. Yep. There's actual passion fruit, passion fruit seeds and pulp in there. This is really refreshing. Looks, how about this with the coconut jelly? <laughs> this was, uh, if you guys saw on the commercial, the yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's a, it's yeah, a it's coconut. coconut. So they were just saying coco, 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 coco. Whoa, Davis, thanks already. <laughs> Drink yo, their drink game is crazy. Yeah. Here. Dude, if they put this in six or six, no, I don't it's know. A <laughs> it's a wrap. It's a wrap for some of them. It's a, yeah. In China, beef is actually not very popular. It's very difficult to grow beef, and uh, there's a lot of people in China, so it's a scarce animal. <clears throat> so that means that KFC actually in China is much bigger than McDonald's. What, what are you guys going with? I, I know you're going That's for the KFC piece. Well, right off the bat, look out. Can we examine it? Can we just examine oh, it? Break it down. Break it down. That's the clear coat. What? The, clear the seasoning Yo, this on looks here. like a fighter ship, bro. Like a fighter jet. Yeah. It's favorable. Ooh. Look at wow. the flavor. That's juicy. You can just tell with all the spices and the seasoning on this thing. That's juicy. Can someone McDonald's fried chicken. chicken. Wow, that's bad. This like KFC. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. The chicken itself is extremely juicy. As far as the flavors, I'm not a big fan of it. I give this about a three and a half out of five. The meat quality is very juicy, very tender. But then the, the skin, the skin is just like, I would say it's a little bland. The, the skin kind of tastes like too bready. For too McDonald's, do not grainy. specialize in fried chicken. Out of five, I guess the four. Wow. I guess the four is juicy. I mean, the flavor is there. I guess maybe, maybe no, they get a fresh batch, but you know, I know what you're saying. They need to do whatever they're doing for that chicken sandwich and yeah. just throw it on our these. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Three, 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 three out of five. Three out of five. I say three. Three out of five. Three. The waffle fries. The waffle fries. The waffle fries. I, I think the texture for me a uh, little stale, mm. but the flavor's in. So on the left we have crispy chicken, on the right we have spicy right. McWing. Flats. flats or drummets. David, flats or drummets. <laughs> Come back to me. I didn't even flats know this was Yo, I didn't even drums, know this was a Flats. No, flats. flats. Drums. Flats. Drums. Flats. Drums. Drumettes, it's almost like the best of both worlds sometimes. No, 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 very controversial series. This might tear us apart, guys. This was up there. Yo, this was it's more hot. too Asian. Like, it got an Asian flavor. It got a little curry turmeric. Yeah, yeah. I'm not Yo, this, no, this yeah. almost tastes identical to KFC's hot wing. The, the spicy one is not for everybody because that flavor profile is so 
Chinese in a way. Yeah. So like, it, it tastes like uh, they were trying to do the Yang Rou Tuan thing, like the, <laughs> yeah. the lamb skewer thing. Hey, shout out to the, right. the championship good. belt, though. You guys, we have one last piece of chicken to try. Oh, what is it? Richie, you know what a G is? Yeah. yeah. The chicken steak, this is a chopped up one. Too greasy for me, though. Mm. Too greasy. I, 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 oh, it's almost like yeah. in between two hash browns, right? Does it kind of taste like fish a little bit, though? Yeah. No. Americans do not mind dry chicken. Like, Americans will eat, like, big pieces of, like, not juicy chicken. I think Asians is like, you gotta have the juice. Yeah. Last but not least, we have, uh, we're gonna break this up. Not everybody's gonna try everything. Breaking we're going with diet. double fish burger or bacon, lettuce, tomato, double beef. Do the fish. The salad on top, show it, show it, show it. this is kind of like a slaw. It pretty yeah. much turned into a slaw because it has the chopped up cabbage. If you take a look at the bacon, it's actually more of like a Canadian bacon rather than actual American type of bacon. I prefer that. One thing that I appreciate about the fish fillet in America is the bun. It's not a toasted bun, it's a steamed bun. Steamed steamed bun. That's right. This here didn't come in a traditional box. Yeah, I see what It you're was saying. wrapped up, so I think that's why it's kind of welted. You know what? Uh, I'm still like, give it a try though. It looks like a brain, bro. In, in, in America, um, fish fillets are like really delicate. This, yeah. is, de this is heavy. Yeah. You know, you I know mean, it's, it's double the patty though. The fish fillet here tastes way more fishy. You see what mm. I'm saying? That sauce is different too. That's not tartar sauce. Ooh. I think I like the American one. Yeah, me too. Yeah. This is a very small detail that I noticed in the States with the burgers. We use onions in like quarter pounders and stuff like that. Yo, I, I noticed that there's no, no onions, onions in, in any of the burgers we ate. I like that one. That was, a, that was like, might be up there with one of my favorite beef burgers oh, the other day. No. I give it a 3.5 out of 5. Oh, <laughs> you overrated. <laughs> Pies, pies, pies. I love that they fry it. Woo! Now, when you fry a pie, like a little empanada. A McDonald's yeah. fried pie is different than a McDonald's Ooh. baked pie. Oh, okay. Is this oh, the yeah. Lakers? Right, can you just the get Lakers? that? Lakers? Carl won just the right amount of sweetness. Yeah. I would say there, there are levels of whatever flavor, sweetness, saltiness here at McDonald's in Asia is on point. Yeah. Yeah. Being in Shanghai, I wish there was a red bean or a yellow custard pie. Oh, I think Taro. No. That's for Philippines yeah. or for Hawaii. Salted egg yolk. Yeah. Salted egg yolk. Oh, pie. Salted egg yolk. Pie. Yeah. All right, you guys. This is probably one of the items that I was shocked to see. The, the macaron. They actually have a separate um, cafe area that actually serves us in like a little like a bakery style. I think I have raspberry. I can smell it. This is a full on dessert shop. Out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're, 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 they're oh, really, fire. really, really good. This is more chewy. It's chewy. It's, it's airy. It's so hard. You yeah. like that? I actually don't like that. Really? No, because the other macarons, they too light. The yeah. other ones, they crush really. I love the texture. Like it. It's what I don't like. Ah, it's like a brownie. Oh, that's like coconut. Yeah. All right, you guys. That Woo! does it for our review of the Shanghai McDonald's. Wow. Man. It was, the, it was <laughs> the longest and fastest time I've ever eaten McDonald's. Yeah. There were so many crazy even... things going on at the same time. And everything's moving so fast. It was wow. quite, quite the experience, man. Our drinks were fire. Okay. Because they don't use like water or tea. They use coconut water. That's the second best thing. That's the second best thing. Yeah. Yeah. For me, man, I would have to say it was that one chicken wing that resembled the KFC hot wing. And that, for me, woo! The German. The German burger. Oh, man. Oh, oh, the German oh, burger. I was going to say the German burger, man. It's, it's, I really like the grilled chicken sandwich, though. Really? Really? Yeah. 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 Yes, I love grilled chicken. Yeah. Now, overall, I mean, what do you guys think about the whole experience, like from a kind of a culture? perspective I loved it I think that every time you get to go internationally now to another McDonald's you got to give it a try man I yeah think, I think international fast food they do it better and higher quality compared to the States it's just different funny because I think a lot of the time people think oh it's an American chain they're just gonna make the same food as in America yeah. because people here want to eat American food but then they actually switch up the recipes we, we definitely busted that myth you know what it is it's almost like McDonald's take on dishes as opposed to McDonald's food Thank you so much for watching that intense episode of Fungo's Food featuring Hype Talk. In the comments section below, make sure you let us know what is your favorite McDonald's item that is different. All right, everybody, until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. Being not McDonald's, what are we looking at? A McFubble. The bow would be bananas. Bo in McDonald's. Macau McDonald's. It's a pork chopper. But <laughs> the pork chop bun. Steamed chicken mushroom. I don't know. I don't know why. I just. I would like to see a giant shalom bao, aka uh, tom bao. Man, if I had the same thing, maybe like a bun burger.